Netflix has released the first still images of the upcoming movie Mank, starring Gary Oldman. The story centres around the life of Herman J. Mankiewicz as he wrote Citizen Kane and the problems that arose with Orson Welles during the production and leading up to the film's release. Directed by David Fincher, this is the first collaboration between the director and actor Gary Oldman. The movie was actually written by David Fincher's father, Jack, who passed away back in 2003, so it is clear this is a project that the director has wanted to get made for a long time. Fincher has worked with the streaming service before, working on House of Cards as a director for the first season and executive producer on further seasons, and most recently he has worked on Mindhunter, directing episodes and writing the series. However, Netflix has now cancelled Mindhunter, so this movie will be the next collaboration between the streaming service and the director. In the latest stills, we can see Gary Oldman as Mankiewicz, along with other cast members, including Amanda Seyfried and Lily Collins. At the moment, this does seem to be an Oscar contender. With what's going on in the world right now, I imagine that streaming service movies are going to scoop up the awards. Collaboration between the Oscar-winning actor and the great director is surely to be something very special. Mank is set to be released in 2020, however Netflix has yet to confirm an exact release date as of yet. However, Netflix have had a tendency to only announce exact dates just a few weeks or months prior to its release. Speculation is that the movie will release in October or November, ready for award season. I'm intrigued to see Gary Oldman take on another real-life performance. He obviously won his Oscar for playing Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. And he's also played other real-life figures in the past, like Lee Harvey Oswald in JFK, writer Joe Orton in Prick Up Your Ears, Sid Vicious in Sid and Nancy, and Ludwig van Beethoven in Immortal Beloved. I do assume that this will be another nomination for Gary Oldman. It'll be his third, since he has been nominated twice before, once for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy in 2011, and most recently with his win in 2018 with Darkest Hour. Once the trailer drops in the next few weeks, hopefully, I will be doing a breakdown of it on this channel. So please make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited to see this movie. And thanks for tuning in.